we have a number of things to take care of. So the first one I want to deal with, um, <clears throat> I guess let's do, let's, I want to keep on the main quest for a little bit before we start branching out to take on like side quests and things like that. So the main quest here is uh, you shall not trespass. I think it's the one we want to take on first. There's a little sign here that has a hammer on it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Guess we'll have to figure out what that is. Um, yeah, but uh, we're heading... I said back upstairs. Yeah, so the game is still slowly opening up. Uh, the way things are looking, it looks to me like we're still sort of in the tutorial. We're still, they're still teaching us how to play the game and show us, showing us all the various little systems. Okay, so we have to speak with Rosaline. Keitha's behalf. Hmm, I see. Broke one of her eggs, you say? And there were four of the creatures? The Kirkin are a nuisance at the best of times, but we must now add trespass and choke up a murder to their list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our retribution must be, needs be swift and decisive. And who better than you to deliver it, adventurer? Find the lair to the west of here and make an example of exactly four Kirkin scramblers. We can send no clearer message. So we need to kill exactly four. Two more. What, I guess we strayed too far? One thing I like is uh, how you don't seem to take falling damage so far in this game, but uh, we'll see. The deed is done good, a grim task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who consort with adventurers. Perhaps now the Kirkan will think twice before giving in to their listeners' proclivities. So, 
we can get plus one. No, I want to keep increasing. So, achievement unlocked, storyteller, and we've learned blood letter. And we've learned foot graze. Action learned foot graze. Hmm. Let's look at our actions and traits. What is foot? This is blood letter. Let's see. Delivers an attack with a potency of 130. Range is 25 yards. I don't see exactly why this is... I don't know. I don't see exactly why we would want to have that. Now let's... Uh, traits. Heavy, heavier shot. We have that. That's level 8. Adds to heavy, sh he adds to heavy shot a 20% chance that your next straight shot will deal critical damage. I guess these are, these are sort of like... Um, their passives now. Second win is what allows us to heal ourselves. Restores about 500 HP. But we've also learned Foot Graze. Cancels auto attack upon execution. Target is unbound if damage is taken. That's not really... Yeah, I see how it can be useful. But uh, not at the moment. So. Now let's talk to Osha Jab. What, we've joined a fate? And no, 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 let's keep moving. Let's see. Um, Osha Job, a wood whaler at the Matron's Lath, is looking for a sure-footed adventurer to pluck blue trumpets from the root of the nearby Heaven's Pillar. Oh there, adventurer, you seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the roots of the Heaven's Pillar here? I need somebody to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking, it's not more than a mushroom, so why the commotion? I tell you why, you allow that fungal menace to multiply, and within a moon, they'll be covering the whole damn root and rotten the wood clear through. Just watch a step while you're up there. The dire mites on the ground won't, taste, won't waste any time adding insults to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up to the top end of the root and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. That's interesting, because uh, just as, a, as, a, as I was thinking, oh, there's no fall damage in this game. There actually is. All right, Rosalind needs an adventurer to destroy Diamite eggs. Your willingness to assist the residents of Tallswood is commendable. If you have a moment, mayhap you can assist me with a delicate matter. My duties as wood whaler include inspecting the matron leads for signs of damage or decay. It's never been a difficult task, until the other day when I discovered several clutches of Diamite eggs. I've no problem slaying the beast when full grown, but the mere sight of their eggs sickens me. Spare me this disgusting task and destroy the eggs. Okay, first we have to climb up here and get a blue trumpet. We need to get uh, four blue trumpets. How are we going to do it without falling down? Okay, we've moved one. There's another one up here.
so we've picked off two blue trumpets. Uh, where can we find the other two? Oh, dynamite eggs. Oh, <laughs> I think uh, we'll have to head back downstairs to keep on gathering the the blue trumpets. I don't think we'll find any here, so let's just head back down. Huh. Somebody's riding a horse. We need to get ourselves a ride as soon as possible. But that's probably not going to be available until much later on. We actually didn't contribute much to that fate. So it says the other blue trumpet is what? Down here? Now we need to destroy some diamite eggs. We've destroyed one. We need to destroy the other. Let's see how much fall damage we take. Not much. Not much at all. the other thing we need to do. Um, let's just head back and uh, complete these ones before moving on. <sighs> Would that I could always rely on a kind soul to handle such tasks. My training prepared me to face beasts in combat and not once have I shirked that duty. But to lay my hands, but to lay hands upon those sticky slimy eggs is just, well, clearly you have no problem doing so. Thank you for your help. So let's choose. We get uh, hard leather, this. We get underwear. This is actually plus seven to magic defense. I don't want to reduce any of what we have currently. Now let's go to our character. ridiculous how much uh, what they're basically trying to tell us is that underwear has more damage protection <laughs> the underwear has more damage protection than the pants that we were we were wearing I find that kind of hard to believe We have cleared the root of the blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. Uh, no, this is my ideal posting, but we all do what we must. Keeping the root passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folk can traverse the central shroud since the calamity all but split the area in twain. It is not, perhaps, the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused this tendril of a haven spiller to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest's people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. Okay, completed. Now. We have uh, some more main story quests. Uh, 
Oh, it's actually up there. Let's see, Theodore is looking for an adventurer to deliver a message. It is regrettably my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch, Mid Bent Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the Wood Whalers. Which reminds me, my habit was my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of somewhat shadowy fellow not, not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but well, it's hard enough for marshalling the courage to walk the route for my shift. Okay, so it looks like uh, the mysterious mage has returned. The mysterious mage has returned, and we're gonna have to confront him pretty soon. A shadow fellow, hmm? Now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it is nothing more than a Kirkhan thief on the run. If you must state your curiosity, state your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note? I'd like very much to see it. Okay, so now we need to report to the central shroud. No, the main quest is search for signs of the shadowy figure. Is. This is a worn leather bag. I guess this is a sign of the uh, of the shadowy guy. Okay, now what's this place for? I guess the leaf tryer is uh, probably somewhere there, but. Um, We'll take care of it next time, not right now. We're still gonna, we still want to progress the main story as much as we possibly can. Have you found something? Remnants of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer traveler. And inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and rosaline oil. But wait, why would a traveler make camp here when, would, when it would be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bench Branch Meadows? Burgamy, I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We have been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we will find this shadow. So let's see what do we want to get. No, I'm gonna... Okay, so we've put that on. Now, um, yeah, let's let, let's let's chase this as far as it possibly can. All right, Rosaline would like you to warn other sentries of the stranger's activities. 
We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I've prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmar at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Ben Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure El Elgar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables, so if this stranger's aim is to harm the Chocobos, Elgar may have to personally put an end to it. Let's uh, let's go take care of that. But I'm uh, I'm curious as to this green spot. What is it? It's probably the guild lever. Let's oh let's see oh yeah, we're gonna go to duty journal. So how do we begin this? Okay. Right, this is the place. Let's initiate it. Your home point is not set to an ether this area. If you return to your current home point at any time during the leave quest, you'll automatically abandon it. Let's see, when you initiate when you initiate um a love quest, you will be given the opportunity to adjust the greater the, the higher the level. Okay, the completion rewards. Okay. So I just wanted to just experience what the leave quest is about, so I don't want anything unnecessarily difficult. Let's just complete this one and move on. Uh, your first foray into the world of leave quest appears to have been a success. Here is the reward for your efforts. Okay. Now that this letter try has been behind us, I have no further qualms about assigning you tasks around Ben Branch Meadows. There are leave quests plenty for hard-working adventurers such as yourself, and a deal of fame and fortune to be won in their going. I think we'll take this. Okay, we're basically walking around naked. But oh well, we'll we'll get some clothes pretty soon. Okay, so now that that's done, 
Uh, threat level elevated is the one. No, that's the main story. Let's see. Lavender. Where the heart is, the lavender bed. Speak with Emblin. Not sure where that will be. Let's take a look at our duty journal. Rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be purchased. Okay, where is that located? Oh, it's to the south over there. Looks like I'm not the only one running around without any pants on. She knew about the auctions very well. Allow me to explain. There is a growing concern that our immigration policies may have been a tad restrictive in the past. And so the Sitzir Council and the Order of Chin Adder have, with the blessing of the Elementals, decreed that the lavender beds be set aside for adventurers. Adventurers who possess the necessary funds to purchase and maintain their estates, that is. Should you look upon the beds with your own eyes, though, I think you'll agree it's well worth the price. Have a word with the skipper over yonder, she'll ferry you across. A recruit station at the pier can tell you more about the beds once you've arrived. Let's see. To proceed with the quest where the heart is, you may visit any residential ward within the lavender beds. Okay. Let's go to specify a sea housing. Each of the three nations has established a residential district wherein like-minded Adventurers can establish a base for their activities. Each residential district is divided into wards, which in turn house 60 plots of land each. Wealthy individuals may purchase plots of land upon which to build their own estate halls, while free companies may jointly purchase plots. Those seeking simpler quarters may instead purchase a room in the apartment buildings found in each of the residential districts. Estate halls and apartments can be customized by installing fixtures and placing furnishings, Please note that in the case of a state hall, specific company privileges are required for customization. More information on housing can be had by speaking with the resident caretaker stationed at each residential district. Yeah, let's complete this. Let's just go. Yeah, Valhalla. <laughs> Looks like all of these are taken. yet figuring out how to journey to this place. Let's go.
lab. <laughs> Alright, um, let's take a break. We're more than half an hour in. We'll be right back with more Elder... Not Elder Scrolls. Final Fantasy XIV. We'll be right back.